I know I'm gonna regret asking this, but... Peridot, what are you doing? Well, first, I thought I heard another roaming eye. So I hid in this box. Mm-hmm. Turned out, it was just a woodpecker. But then... Great, there's more. I had this overwhelming feeling of... inner peace. Like, as long as I was in here, I was safe. Like, not even Yellow Diamond could get to me. This box is the key to everything! I seriously doubt that. Without this box, I am nothing. You're annoying, that's for sure. Join me, Lazuli! No. Box maids! No. You know what? Forget you. <laughs> I'm going into town. You want anything? A new roommate? Seriously. Some fries, I guess. Got you covered. So, I wrote a fanfiction about myself and Peridot. That's... nice, Lapis. It took me two weeks to write, okay? I had to learn how to write first. Oh my stars! We have the same colors as the Pokémon starters! I want to be Bulbasaur! You can't be Bulbasaur, you're red! Let her be Bulbasaur. Then who am I gonna be? Something lame, like Squirtle. Then you would be Charmander, that's nonsense! Well, I'm the only one who can actually fly, so it makes sense. Uh... Ha! Bulbasaur! Squirtle! 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 Okay. Uh, truth or dare? <gasps> dare? I dare you <laughs> to kiss Amethyst. Sure. Whoa, wait, really? I love you, Pearl. <laughs> okay, easy. Hands to yourself, no tongues. You are going to bed right now, immediately! When reduced to their gemstone, a gem can be kept in a bubble, or trapped in an object, making it impossible to reform. But unlike with bubbles, some gems can be left completely aware, screaming voicelessly for freedom from within their prison. Yes, Stephen? Um, how do you scream without a voice? That's a great question. And if you're lucky, you'll never have to find out the answer. Lazuli, do you want to watch an Earth show? It's actually pretty good and... Well, I think you'd really like it if... If you... Hmm. Fine, I'll watch it by my... Mm. Self? <laughs> so I know you're new to Earth culture. Just let me know if you get lost. <laughs> Previously on Camp Pining Hearts. It's Color Warpolet. Doesn't that mean anything to you? You can't win the three-legged race on your own. You need my leg, too. How am I supposed to break the blue team when I'm the one whose heart is breaking? I want this summer to last forever. Kiss me, Percy. <laughs> three weeks later. Guys, I'm here to visit. Have you been getting a look? Oh. oh gosh. Oh, Steven, you're just in time. We're about to start season three, episode four, where Pierre blah 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 blah. blah, blah Is that blah, Steven? Blah, 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 hey, blah, blah, blah. Steven. Oh, what have I done? Hmm. Hmm. Pumpkin. Come on, let's encourage Lapis. She always sits there when she's sad. Hey, Lapis. Hmm? Peridot, you took off your visor. I'm not Peridot right now. Peridot is right here. <laughs> Step one, bad jokes. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Step two, talk with her. 
You know, I was investigating. Dreams and nightmares aren't real. They can't hurt you or anyone. Yeah, I noticed. You're fine. It's just that they feel so real and they hurt me. You know, I'm tired of feeling bad. Mm. Look, I have a proposal. Pumpkin ah! and me will never be far from your side, so you don't have to worry about anything happening to us or to you. Step three, wait for the reward. Okay. <laughs> and if you fall asleep again, we'll stay with you even if you snore like the tractor. Like the tractor? <laughs> and off with these. There. Now is that so terrible, Perry? Why, Miss Peridot? Look at you. You're beautiful. Hmm. Hmm. This is stupid. Come on, Lapis. We're leaving. Lapis. We're leaving. Actually, I, I think I want to go here. What? No, you can't go. This is stupid. Lapis, we're Lapis Lazulis. We're above all this. Little homeschool is for those sad excuses of gems. It's not. That Lapis Lazuli with Steven Universe, they seem happy. Don't you want that too? You can't be serious. Do you really want to be with those lower class gems? Hmm. Lapis, get back here! Lapis! Don't leave me. You'll have to protect Beach City if something happens while we're gone. You can count on us. <gasps> we're great at this. making fan art for CPH, and I especially drew the strongest battle formation ever! Percy times Pierre is the only reason why I watch CPH. I love my roommate. Learned drawing from Steven. CPH, Percy, Pierre, fan art! So Lapis, how are you feeling today? Honestly, I can't care enough about anything anymore to have any emotional response to anything that's happening around me at any given moment, no matter how much I want to. Okay, sounds like a good day. Garnet, help! I've never dated anyone or loved. I, I just don't know what to do. What if she's still upset? Garnet, and help! Me? And we I quarreled, just, oh and she God, said blah, 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 and, and I don't know what to do. What if she's still angry at me for that? Hey, put me down, you cool. Bye. Just talk about it. Uh. <laughs> hey, Lapis, you know what? I don't need you. I'm perfectly happy without you. So you don't need to come back. Stay in space forever! You with our morbs, and the barn, and, 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 and all my world. 
Hey, Peridot. Amethyst, you remember when I said you can't be sad forever? Well, here's the next part. When you feel sad and want to cry, you can always count on us. So, don't worry. Because you still have Steven and Garnet and Pearl. And of course, you have me too. <laughs> Hugs work okay too, I guess. Peridot, I- Did you really think you could just come back and act like nothing happened? That I would just forget the fact you didn't care about my feelings? That things were going to be the same? Like before you left me? I'm truly sorry. I understand if you- Please don't leave me again. Hi, Peridot. What's this for? Just hit the play button. Uh, okay. Greetings, Lapis. This is a pre-recorded message. This is being recorded the night before tomorrow. Uh, today? February 14th, the human holiday of Valentine's Day. I have learned about this holiday due to many human preparations and humor towards the idea of social medias. After some research, I have discovered the history behind the holiday, which had me perplexed. But despite its rather fascinating but gruesome origins, the humans adapted it into a holiday to celebrate kindness and la... la... admiration towards each other. As such, I wanted... would like us to... celebrate... that... admiration. <coughs> it is custom for one person to present the other gifts, such as a box of chocolates and earth flowers, particularly roses, but due to the short notice, I had to borrow sunflowers from our crop. My apologies. Now, Peridot, please present the gifts. By now, she has presented you the gifts. Now we get to why this was pre-recorded. I thought I cut this out. After the gifts are presented, there is a phrase that is said. It expresses trust and the truest form of admiration that I don't have the courage to say in person. So I'm going to say it now that I do have the courage to do so. W will you be my Valentine? Uh, uh. Yes. Lapis, you know what? When you weren't here. Paulette and Percy! They broke up! Uh, no way! Yes, and guess what? Pierre is going out with Percy in the new episode! Uh, you're kidding me. No, I'm not. And I... I haven't watched it because... I want to watch the newest episode with you. Oh, Perry... This is so sweet of you. Oh, Nerds. <laughs> I'm so excited. You and Lapis aren't coming because Percy Bomb? The hell is that? 